of history, there have been periods when mankind made rapid advances. And then there are those other, much more numerous times that remain rather unnoticed as transitory periods. Now, at the dawn of the third millennium, how will this age be judged by posterity? And more importantly, what form will that posterity take? And what kind of judgment will it be capable of? For soon, much sooner than we anticipate. Mankind as we currently know it might radically change. Something new is emerging. While people have talked about global peace, the end of history, and the disappearance of ideology, an army of scientists around the world has continued working in their laboratories. The impact of this work is now slowly surfacing. Technology is about to take over the torch of history and will guide us to a new era. The disparate activities of scientists in the fields of genetics, robotics, artificial intelligence, bionics, and nanotechnology seem to be converging towards one goal, to transcend human limits. It will lead us inexorably towards a transhuman age, an age when more evolved species will leave mankind behind as a fossil in history.
of the cells that enters the cells and the use of the machine of the cells is also by itself. Now you take this virus and you can put out pieces of the virus so that you can put it in the stick and then go to the blocks of the arcades. There are no art tools, so many tools that the virus that can be used to the virus in the bad DNA, sticking, splicing, the good DNA. This is a mechanism that is used now to do gene therapy. It is the first time in the first actual way.
Please, 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 please. 